Ladies and gentlemen, the name of the game is Go. And two teams are here to compete for a jackpot worth up to $20,000. This week, our celebrity captains are Lynn Redgrave. And from Just Our Luck, Richard Gilliland. And now, here is your host, ready to go, Kevin O'Connell. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Thank you. And welcome to another round of Go. Actually, this is going to be our final match of head-to-head -head with the ten players that we have on our stage at the present time. And what a week it has been. On the first two days, Monday and Tuesday, the red team came off the block sparkling. On the last two days, Wednesday and Thursday, the blue team has rebounded. So I guess today is really the, the rubber match. We are going to find out if the blue or the red grave team, I guess red we could grave, say. Red yes. grave team. Well, that's right. Or we hope it's not too grave. We hope it may be a happy day for the red team, yes. right? Okay. Yes. You are yes. the captain. The strategy so far has been to pass it over uh, to the opposition. So Richard is awaiting your decision. Will you play or will you pass? I want to keep him on his toes. Uh -huh. I'm going to play. Uh-oh. Change the strategy. Thank Down we go. Let's go. Johnny Gilbert hit it right on the head at the beginning of the program. They're playing for an awful lot of money, over $20,000 every day. We Play Go is eligible to be won by our players. Why don't we meet the members of the Red Squad? Hi, I'm Bob Mosser, and I've been waiting since Monday to say hi, Mom. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope Mom hasn't been holding her breath. Okay. I'm Cindy Clark, and I want to say hi to my mom, too. Hi, Cindy. A good responder. And I'm Lynn Redgrave Clark, and my mom's in England. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. There we go. Thank I'm you, I'm Dave Barton, and I call my mother every day, so I want to say hi to Ellie and Donna and Mel and Mabel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And my mom's in Scotland, so hi, mom. We'll try and tape it. <laughs> Maybe we're on cable over there. Interestingly enough, before we begin round one, Lynn Redgrave was the captain of the blue team yesterday that went to the jackpot round. They hit it for $10,000. It was like a circus yes. right after that was over. Speaking of circus, you're going to be doing something with that. Oh, yes, very shortly, just before Christmas, Circus of the Stars. What are you I do a do? horse act. I enter on an Andalusian stallion. I do a little fancy work, and then I get off, and eight, in come eight liberty horses. And if I crack the whips right, they don't all mow me down. Well, <laughs> let's crack the whip and see if the red team can come up and win themselves. Plenty of cash today on our final day of head-to-head. -head. Okay. The object of the game, formulate a question using one word at a time. When you've given the responder, or in this case, Cindy, enough information you think you have, give her a ring on the bell, then I have to hear from you, Cindy. Team giving me five correct answers in the shortest period of time, win the round. Lynn I've Redgrave. I've gone for the bottom all week. Do it again. All right. <laughs> 250 <laughs> points. The, the value of the round, if you use too much of the word on your screen in formulating your answer, or you use more than one word consecutively, the judges will let you know by giving you this sign. That means we move on. Bob starts day five of Head to Head. Here's your first answer. Go. What do pens write with? Ink. Go. What do you put your feet in to ride a horse? Starts. Go. What do children suck? Pacifiers. Wrong. Next word. Who stands next to the groom? Best man. Go. Who has yellow hair? Bozo. <laughs> Wrong. Next word. <laughs> what color do grass? Green. Go. <laughs> what do you receive at Christmas? Presents! I got it quite wrong. I'm not so sure sometimes if the second word isn't as important as the first word because on this game you can easily talk yourself into a corner and there's no way out. You're right. Our good friend Bozo does have yellow hair. <laughs> we were looking for the color blonde. Where we get uh, you know, so that, We kind of went south on that one a little bit. Yes. But a good opening round, 45 seconds. Let's see if it's going right. to hold up. Oh. Richard, bring your team down. I suppose in any event, whether it be sports or go, momentum has a, a big factor, and the momentum definitely is in the Blues' corner winning the last two days. They're going to try to make it three days in a row. Here are the members of the Blue team. I'm Peter Talbot, and I want to say hi to my mom and my brother and all my friends back in Philadelphia. Gee, all right, there we go. I've got to do it, too. I'm <laughs> Debbie Smith, and hi, Grandma in New York. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How about you? How's your mother? Uh, she's fine. I talked to her today. You did? Yeah. Wonderful. So I can say hello again. All I'm right. Richard Gilliland, and I had a wonderful time this week. I and really we have had a pleasure myself. of having you here, Richard. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm Jan Kelly, and I want to thank my friend Claire for my lucky bear. All right. We'll find out if Teddy wins. I'm Mike Elliott, and hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> for a while there, I thought we were leaving out dear old Dad and Mom, too. 
they gave you a 45 second clock. If you give me five answers before the clock hits zero, you're a round up. 250 points at stake. Peter, take a look. Here's your first answer. Go. What month follows June? July. Go. What do you do to change color of hair? You dye it. Go. Who leads the band? Orchestra leader. Wrong. Next word. What do babies suck? Their thumbs. Wrong. Next word. What is this? <laughs> That's two words. Go on. Who, Who is with Robin? Batman. Go. What is an animal that makes dams? A beaver. Go. For the round. Who does modeling for magazines and is Calvin Klein? Brooke Shields! Stop the clock! So, Pitter Patter, I'll tell you, you guys have a, have a certain magic because ever since we started going our head-to-head -head matches, the blue team has always been able to capture that first round, but not by a whisker. Folks, you had one tick of the clock left, and that is it. Boy, we're all kind of happy in our Calvins. Take the 250, shoot it over to the blue side of the board. Blue team with Richard has round number one. We're going to come back, see if Prince team can catch up right after these words. Most outrageous show in the history. We were looking back since we started uh, on Go back in the beginning of October, and some of our research team has come up with the interesting statistic that usually on the last day of their appearance on Fridays, our male celebrity guest has usually been victorious with the team. Funny enough, Richard? Oh, that's, that puts the pressure on. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of puts it right on the old shoulders, doesn't that, it? Kevin. All right, tell you what, Captain, pick a packet of answers, top or bottom, for the second round. Uh, we'll go top. All right, and you'll take a note, 500 points could give you two rounds in a row and a commanding lead. Take a look, Peter. You set the time that Lynn's team has to beat. Here's your first answer. Go. What do you answer when it rings? A telephone. Go. What do you throw that comes back to you? A boomerang. Go. Who is Jane's boyfriend? Tarzan. Go. What do you eat off of? A plate. Go. What? Do you have or go to on birthdays? A party! Stop the clock! <laughs> There's something about just letting it flow and letting it all happen. 29 seconds, teams, let's swap right. changes, all right? Alrighty, 29 seconds, not an awful lot of time, but if you're going to stay alive, I think the time to start is, you got that straight, 500 points at stake, you can get right back and take the lead if you can give me five answers before the clock strikes down to zero. Great. Take a look, Bob and Lynn will start off, here's your first answer, go. What has a wick candle? Go. What do women wear around their necks and is? Scarves. Wrong. Next oh. word. Who played hot lips in MASH? Loretta Swift. Go. What wooden pickets go around your yard? Fence. Go. Hurry. What? Oh. I'll tell you, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't give you much time, Lynn. It really doesn't. We were looking for jewelry, and I almost I know, thought I, I was seeing so. it come out of your mouth, and then all of a sudden, a glazed look came over your eyes, like I don't really know where they're going. 500 points. Shoot them over to Richard and the blue team side of the board. Now they have 750, and we're in the same spot we were yesterday at this time, all right? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> yes. My dear, I'll tell you, three consecutive rounds by any team is a clean sweep, and you're on the other end of it. You have a possible loss. Facing Don't right talk now. negative. Okay, I'll talk positive. Win the round, it's all yes, tied. Yes, right. All right, yes, yes, Thank yes. You. Let's get to it. Give me all the right? bottom. On the bottom, my goodness. Don't mess about. All right, you set the time. They I have the time. to beat. They all have right? to beat it. All right. <laughs> Bob's going to start it off. Here's your first answer. Go. What do you cut paper with scissors? Go. What is this? Me. Go. 
What is the game of uh Pass it. Next word. What do you do at your sleep? Rest. Wrong next word. What do brides wear over their faces? Veil. Go. What is a Jewish priest? Rabbi. Go. What has sa Next word. What game do you play with a, a racket? Tennis. Stop the clock. <laughs> Sometimes it, it depends on where you start because at the end they were going to try to get into the football realm and they decided to blow it off when Super Bowl was with the championship football game. But again, and the only other problem we had was salad. And that's what we were looking for, but you said salad instead of maybe lettuce, lettuce this time. <laughs> hey, we're going to find out. You had a very good time. 42 seconds, and before we give them a clean sweep, they have to earn it. Teams, let's change places. But what was it we were talking about just a moment ago about momentum and the fact that our male celebrity usually finds the last day to be much to his liking. Yesterday we had a clean sweep. You had a clean sweep. Three rounds, 1,500 points just like that, and you're on the verge of it again. If you give me five answers before the clock strikes zero, which has 42 seconds on it, you go for $20,000, folks. Far cry from Monday and Tuesday, isn't it? 750 points at stake. The answers come from the top, and Peter starts. Good luck. Here's your first answer. Go. What is these? Eyes. Go. What do you bid at for a gavel? Auction. Go. Who was the Watergate president? Nixon. Go. What grows on trees in Hawaii? Coconut. Go. For the game. Who played Rocky? So Sylvester Stallone. That's Real fast. I believe you started with 42 seconds. Did it, Beth, how many seconds were on the clock when we started? 42. So you had 15 left. One of the fastest rounds we have ever had on the game of Go, we would like you to say, and we applaud the best. That gives you 1,500 points. We'll give you a dollar a point, so another 1,500 into the bank account. And when we come back, it's almost like deja vu. You lived up to the reputation. You must work well under pressure. I had pressure. to, Kevin. I had to. I mean, <laughs> I live with myself. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to give you a double jackpot shot. In other words, you're going to play for $20,000. The double jackpot is next. We stop on go and come back right after this. Welcome back to Go, the blue team, ready for a double jackpot round. And when you guys get hot, I use the term figuratively, and women get really hot, you guys know what you're doing, because on Wednesday, Thursday, and today, you didn't uh, take very long. It's what we call clean sweepsville. You won the first three rounds on each day. Give me a shot at our double jackpot round. That's what I call teamwork. Very much so. Right, we're gonna, you, you do your own stunts on, on your show, don't uh, you? Most of the time, yeah. We'll, we'll see if you can do yeah. this big stunt, because we, so. we pay well here. Yes, All I know. Right. these people are happy. We want seven correct answers in one minute for $10,000. That's as easy as I can explain it. Timer, 60 seconds, please. Richard starts the first half of our double jackpot round on your final appearance on Go. Good luck. Here's your first answer. Go! Why do you not have hair? Because you're bald. That's one. What country is near Sydney? Australia. That's two. Uh, what do you pay to get to college? Tuition. That's three. Uh, something that you put over a dog so that he won't bite. What is it? A muzzle. That's four. Uh, what makes bread rise? Yeast. Five. Who removes her clothes? A stripper. Go for the cash. Uh, what do a limb plaster on? A cat. <laughs> That's it.
You know, it, you really, you really, really are. You know, you don't know how close Sydney is to Australia. I mean, <laughs> we're talking about the big, and it was so fun because I know Mike is an athlete. And the first thing, maybe, what do you put over a broken limb? Yeah, you can see where thinking. he's going. But every once in a while, a funny thing happens to a train of thought going from that end of the table down here. But I can speak for a lot of people in our studio and it's in at home. You really gave us some thrilling moments there. How much time? 17 seconds, I believe, was left on the clock. Really? So you had time to burn. And the nice part about it, it's going to be a Merry Christmas to the tune of another $10,000. And we're not done yet. Yep, Santa left a little more in the bag, all right? <laughs> Even though Christmas is a couple of weeks away, we're going to go and try to hit up the bank for another 10000 Part two of our double jackpot round coming up right after these words. Don't go away. Welcome back to Go. On the back side of our line here, our good friend Jan has been keeping these gentlemen in order, as a matter of fact. Boy, you really came across well. 17 seconds left on the clock, $10,000 in the first part of our double jackpot round. Peter, we, we checked with Jan the other day. She's going back to Oklahoma for the holidays and use some of her winnings for that. What are you planning on doing with your cash? I'm going to fly home to Connecticut to visit my mother, my grandmother, and my brother. Good. Take them each a little memento, I would you think, betcha. or a large one. Maybe after this is all over, we'll, they'll give so. us a loan. I'm, I'm expecting that. <laughs> at least dinner. <laughs> at least dinner. All right. Let's see if your final appearance can be a real big one. 60 seconds on the clock. Seven correct answers. You'll leave us winning the double jackpot again. Start us off, Richard, on their final appearance on Go, head-to-head. -head. Here is your first response. Go! What is... Not a... Republican. Democrat. That's one. What do... Mexicans... Wear... On... Their... Head. Sombrero. That's two. What... Magazine... Is... Hugh... Hefner... Playboy. That's three. Uh, something that you ride in that is, is long and it picks you up at the airport Limousine. chauffeur. That's four. What is... A... Spire... On a church. Steeple. That's five. What is around a loaf of pie? Croft. Go for the cash. Who was Superman's girlfriend? Lois Lane. Yeah. <laughs> The one part that Richard will never play is a gourmet chef. Never. Never, never. never. But I'll tell you, we'll all go over to their house and have a nice loaf of pie. Make mine cherry. <laughs> oh, sometimes they don't necessarily make sense, but all you have to do is make dollars. And I'll tell you, you did that well. 21 seconds, again, one of the fastest rounds we have ever had for a jackpot round on go. We are going to total this whole week up. You have left us on an absolutely incredible note. You have played with four of the best players that oh, have yes. ever donned oh, our we're stage. Going on the road, I think. Weren't they terrific? <laughs> Holy macro. I'll tell you. Absolutely wonderful. You know, we could have boiled a loaf of pie in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> I think we we're, 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 we're going to take a slice out for a couple of commercial messages. When we come back, we'll put the whole loaf together and see how much bread they won right after this. It's almost post time. Trivia Track is next on Game Show Network, followed by the new Newlywed Game and then the original Newlywed Game. Folks, it has been a wonderful week having you oh, here. It's been fun. Thank it you, It truly has. And to all the members of the Red Squad, you started us off the first two days like a house of fire. And the last three, you didn't disappoint us either. You gave us very good rounds. You were beaten by a very, very good team. With our congratulations, we are also going to sign a check in the amount of $5,950 for you to buy. Congratulations and thank you for being with us.
Thank you, Cindy. Lynn, come on with me because you captained this team two yes. days out of the five. Yes. And up to today, yes. before today, their winnings totaled. Are you ready for this? $16,000. Under the watchful eye of Richard and company, after today's round, not only did they walk away with the 16, but we'll add to it for a grand total after head to head of $37,500. <laughs> Let me just finish with our arithmetic that uh, I believe on our timer that the jackpot round they just went for with the amount of time they left on the clock will go in the Go Record books as the fastest jackpot round we have ever had. So indeed, yeah. we are and you are champions. Congratulations. Mike, good luck in the Olympics. Have a very safe holiday trip. Peter and Jan, home you too, Debbie. Thank you for being with us. Richard, Lynn, thank you, what Ken. can I say? Thank you both thank very you. much. Come on back and see us again. Okay. All good. right. Lynn Redgrave. Richard Gilliland, Kevin O'Connell for Go. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Some members of our studio audience will receive West End's 12-inch automatic skillet, dishwasher safe with durable non-stick surface, and thick aluminum construction for delicious roast hams and poultry, as well as smaller dishes. A three-piece set of Harvard Cutlery for True Value Hardware Store's new line of Harvard Cutlery with high carbon steel blades and solid walnut handles now sold exclusively at True Value Hardware Stores, and nylon steel toys since 1946, sturdy, long-lasting, with lots of play value for boys and girls, made with care for you to give with love, nylon steel toys. Because play continued after an unacceptable clue, a portion of round one was replayed in the program editor.